Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 260. Pacemaker Action Potential. Where does the pacemaker action potential occur? Pacemaker action potential occurs in the SA and the AV nodes. What is phase 0 of the pacemaker action potential? Phase 0 is the upstroke when the opening of the voltage-gated calcium channel happens. A few things to note about the phase 0 is that fast voltage-gated sodium channels are permanently inactivated because of the less negative resting voltage of these cells. This results in a slow conduction velocity that is used by the AV nodes to prolong the transmission from the atria to the ventricles. Use picture on page 260 to help you answer these questions. Is there a phase 2 or plateau in pacemaker action potential? In pacemaker action potential, the plateau is absent. Describe what happens at phase 3 in pacemaker action potential. In phase 3 pacemaker action potential, there is inactivation of the calcium channels and an increase in activation of the potassium channels. This results in potassium efflux. Describe the phase 4 of the pacemaker action potential. In phase 4, there is slow diastolic depolarization. Membrane potential spontaneously depolarizes as the sodium conduction increases. And this is what accounts for that automaticity of the SA and the AV nodes. The slope of which phase of the pacemaker action potential determines the heart rate? Slope of phase 4 in the SA node determines the heart rate. What drugs affect the pacemaker action potential to decrease the rate of diastolic depolarization and to decrease heart rate? The drugs that decrease the rate of diastolic depolarization and heart rate are ACH and adenosine. What drugs increase the rate of diastolic depolarization and increase heart rate? The drugs that do this is catecholamines. One additional thing to note here is that the sympathetic stimulation increases the chance that the IF channels are open and therefore will increase the heart rate. Based on the picture on page 260 of the pacemaker action potential, briefly describe the difference between pacemaker action potential and the ventricular action potential. In pacemaker action potential, the phase zero is where there is upstroke that happens and this happens due to voltage-gated calcium channels, whereas in ventricular action potential, phase zero is the rapid upstroke that happens due to sodium channel opening. In pacemaker action potential, there is no phase one and there is no phase two. The reason there is no phase 2 is because there is no plateau in pacemaker action potential. In phase 3, there is an efflux of potassium in both ventricular action potential as well as in pacemaker action potential. And finally, in phase 4, there is a slow diastolic depolarization in the pacemaker action potential. And this happens due to increase in sodium conductance, which is much different than what happens in phase 4 of the ventricular action potential, which is the resting potential. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.